extremism has started to raise its head not just in the Muslim world but in the Christian world. When you think about it, we are born to the religion. We don't select our religion. And yet, more wars have been fought in the name of religion. I am Nafis Sadiq. I'm a physician from Pakistan. I'm a Muslim and uh, as you can see, I'm also a woman. I've been in the international field for uh, at least, uh, I would say, 45 years working in the field of uh, women's health, their rights and uh, the whole area of development. I believe strongly in equality in the world. I believe in the equality of women and men. I believe in the rights of women and men, that everyone should have all their rights and no less. The more I reflect on this um, polarization between um, uh, the West, so to speak, and the Muslim world, I start to think that um, the basis for all this is really a lack of understanding and knowledge. And we really need to give more attention to human security, to individual needs. Um, and all members of a society must feel that they have equal access and that they will get justice. Because justice and law are not necessarily the same thing. There is a whole uh, chapter in the Quran on women and their rights. And if you gave women their fundamental rights as listed in the chapter on women, which is the right to education, the right to own your property, the right to work, the right to uh, decide who you will marry, you have all your rights because then you will exercise everything else in that context. You don't need any other rights. But that's not very well known. And I was just fortunate that I had a father and a mother who believed in educating their daughters as well as their sons. But unless you have that education, you can't be economically independent. You can't participate in this whole globalized world. You don't know your political rights. You're not going to participate in political decision making. You're told what to do and, and you may or may not do it. And that also, by you know, your absence, you are sort of abrogating your rights. So you know, you have to talk about um, uh, education, which you know looks at um, a holistic approach. I mean, it's numeracy, it's literacy, but it's also social issues because, um, and the social issues should not be just the religion to which you are going to be born, but also some understanding of the other religions. I think this is something that we have to push a lot more and that exists everywhere in the world the only religion they learn about is their own so education has to be a key key issue i feel that this is my vocation to enable every girl in the world to have the opportunities that i have had and does not need to have a father or mother to allow that opportunity promoting these rights you know, of equality and human rights and the fact that there's such a polarization in the world of what these issues actually mean. Is this a Western agenda being imposed on the rest of the world? And I want to you know, work here to show that the agenda we have is a common agenda. In the Muslim world, there are a lot of voices which uh, are calling for more tolerance and more dialogue but also saying that don't marginalize us and don't make everyone feel that because they are Muslim they should be somehow embarrassed or ashamed of themselves. And I think that's where this alliance uh, uh, recommendations can play a great role because there is a need for it and there is a felt need. There is in the, in the public at large, uh, in civil society, everywhere you hear this and in the governments themselves. Therefore the need for this alliance to to, to uh, be able to talk together, to discuss together, and to understand each other is never been greater.